Hello, everybody, and welcome back. We are currently on our sixth week of pack. Uh, I am, of course, Cram, coach of the St. Louis Battle Hall Luchas. And this week, we do have a pretty exciting match. We are we are playing uh, the Trust to Gyarados. Uh, looks like a good match, though. Um, kind of, Tim's got somewhere in the mind. He's got he's got really good uh, hazard options with uh, pretty easy options to. Um, pressure with those hazards as well and then he's got kind of like me he's only got a very limited removal so i kind of built in mine um assuming that certain things would not come um i do have a dedicated lead for this matchup in the annihilate my expectation was that dust snore would not come which it did not so i'm hoping that he leads the samurai hisui and i can just immediately take it out and not have to play with spikes the entire game but even, even if that's the case, we can always utilize Annihilate to switch into the, the Ceaseless Edges and threaten it out. But as you can see, he actually brought um, both his Terra Captains. So he has um, Sheer Force, his Sheer Force um, Landris Incarnate, uh, which he decided to bring Ground as his Terra, which makes sense because my uh, resist or my immunity does not appreciate a sludge bomb and then he also brought this to Titan which is Terra Ice so he decided to just go with his default Terras as, I, as did I as I brought um, Terra Fighting Annihilate for the extra damage on close combat but I do get the lead I want here so I'm immediately going to go for the final gamut the only thing he can switch in is to Titan regardless if he has HP investment or not but then he wouldn't be able to utilize it as a sweeper so I imagine he wouldn't go into it here I wish I would have gone for a close combat to cover for him staying in, but um, he could have been Chopple, so it worked out in my favor. I take it out, and I don't have to play Hazards for the entire game unless he's got Stealth Rocks on his Metagross. Here I go into Mamoswine because Mamoswine has probably the best matchup, and I actually get to immediately Earthquake into Slow King and pop at Shookaberry, so he would otherwise would have lost his uh, Snow option. But here he gets to survive a hit and tell a joke back and set up the snow for Sitaiten in the back. Amazon is absolutely great in this matchup because I'm a salt vest, so I can take all the special hits, even a hit from Terra Ground Lando. And um, with the snow up, I can take a hit on the physical side as well. Here he is going to go into Sid Titan, and I don't have a rock coverage move to hit it really hard, so I figure it's not worth to sacrifice the health on Mamo. I'm going to go immediately into my check, which is this Persian. And fortunately, he did not go for like low kick or superpower immediately. He, he just goes straight for the belly drum, and he actually did not EV his HP correctly, so he didn't even pop the citrus. So I'm able to go for the foul play pretty freely here and just knock him out. I was choice scarf, so unless he was jolly max speed, worst case scenario, I would have lost the speed tie. So they were able to take out the Titan with no punish whatsoever. He is going to go into the Landris. I do think Persian's worth keeping around for the Metagross. So I'm going to go immediately into Gamora to sack it, as I don't think it can provide too much further value uh, in this team. And I do need something to come in on the Terra Ground Earth Power, which he decides to go for here. Committing his Terrestrialization, which is perfect, because now I can Earthquake his entire team for free. So he's going to go for the Earth Power and take out my Glomara. So once again, we are sacking the Glomara and getting absolutely nothing out of it. But, uh, such is life. Sorry, Glamora. <laughs> but uh, in response, we're going to go into the Mamoswine. I am built to take one hit from this thing, and I can knock it out with an Icicle Crash. And of course, nothing on this team wants to come in on Mamoswine. He is going to go into the Slow King to initially scout my Ice move. So I'm going to go for the Crash, and we're going to do good damage. And now, because I'm faster and I'm not locked in, um, I can go for another Earthquake here. And I imagine he doesn't want to lose it, so he does switch out. And he actually goes... Uh, directly into his Metagross, which is great for me because that's that's a mon that's really hard to break down sometimes. And he actually survives it with a little bit of HP. He is not quite in range of Ice Shard, and I know he's going to go for the Bullet Punch because he needs that chip in order for Lando to sweep for my team. So I'm not going to let him have it. I'm going to go directly into the Persian here. Health on Persian isn't as important anymore now that Titan is gone. Here I am going to go for the Foul Play for Chip. That's my best way of damaging this thing. And he's actually going to go into the... Uh, the Jolteon to take this hit. I'm going to go for the Foul Play. It's not a very high attack mine, but it actually does pretty decent damage. I'm going to go for another one and sack this off. I know he's going to go for a Learned Voice because he doesn't want... He wants me to be able to go into Mamoswine and take damage for the Lando, but I'm not going to give it to him. I'm just going to sack the Persian. And here I'm going to go to Magmortar, 
who uh, inconveniently messed up the nickname, should be Bag Morton Ty, but now he's Tim, and now he's ready to, to show what he's been prepping for this match. He's going to both switch out and bring me just above half, and fortunately I get exactly what I want, and he goes directly into his special wall and soaking, but I'm going to flip the match up here and go for the belly drum. So, we're both playing the drum here. Uh, I, I like my position better though. So I'm gonna eat the citrus berry. Now I'm out of range of bullet punch from um, Metagross. And because I'm faster, I can go for the flame charge now. So uh, yeah, plus six flame charge, stabs, gonna knock out the slow king. He has nothing he can switch into that and I get a free speed boost. So now I'm faster than the entire team because we know that the Landers Incarnate is most likely uh, Scarf. Uh, here because he committed his Terrestrialization, I don't have to risk flame charge not picking up the knockout in case he has some investment. So I just go for the Earthquake. First time Lander and Cardus ever had to take an Earthquake. So, Magmotor just taking out the best mod on his team. We're looking pretty primed up for a, for a sweep here. I reveal my last move in Mach Punch just to show that I have it. He's probably gonna go for Bullet Punch. We don't wanna risk a crit or anything or some surprise KO. And then he's gonna go into his Jolteon last and Magmortar just finishes off with a Mach Punch and there we go. Quick and easy sweep from Magmortar. So we finally do nail our first win, but we still got two weeks left. So hopefully I can bring out some more fun sets while I uh, languish at the bottom of the pack. But see you guys next week.